Hi, my name is Stuart McFarlane and in this video we'll be looking at how to convert between mixed numbers and improper fractions and vice versa. Now an improper fraction in itself or a top heavy fraction as we sometimes call it is a fraction where your numerator, the top number, is greater than the denominator. The bottom number as we see here with 32 fifths, 31 ninths and so on. Now anything where the numerator is greater than the denominator creates a value that's greater than 1. So these can also be expressed as a mixed number. Now the mixed number, as you'll see, has the whole number part on the left and a fraction to the side. Now pupils should be able to convert both ways. They should be able to go from a mixed number into its improper fraction form and from an improper fraction to a mixed number. First example we're going to have a look at is how to do this type, from a mixed number to an improper fraction. First example, express three and a quarter as an improper fraction. If I was introducing this to the pupils, I would ask them to visualise or draw a representation of three and one quarter. For example, three whole pizzas and a quarter slice. The pupils can then take their, their drawing and split it into the relevant fractions, quarters in this case, and then count the, the fractions up. We've got one, two, three, four in the first whole number part. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13 quarters for our top heavy fraction. Now, 13 quarters split this way is easy enough to see, but we would want the pupils to do this without any drawings at some stage, and they have to make the link themselves then that the whole number part and the denominator are very important, as we have three whole pizzas split into quarters, so we have three lots of four, we have a four, a four, a four, to create the 12, with the one extra that gives us the 13. They should then make that link that we can do this with multiplication. We've got three lots of four quarters, so to do it without any drawings, 3 and 1 quarter could be expressed as an improper fraction. 3 lots of 4, 3 multiplied by 4. You also have the one extra slice as it was, so we add on the extra part and the denominator would stay the same in quarters. So 3 multiplied by 4, add on the one extra and that's in terms of quarters. So 12 plus 1 giving us our 13 quarters as an improper fraction. Now a couple of further examples just to reinforce this. 8 and 3 fifths, we've got 8 for the whole number part, 5 for the denominator, so we have 8 lots of 5 fifths, we treat that as 8 multiplied by 5, add on the extra 3, as it is in this case, and the denominator is fifths, so 8 multiplied by 5, 40 fifths, add on 3 fifths, gives us our 43 fifths as an improper fraction. After a while, when the pupils are a bit more confident, they may dispense with this working and just do it mentally. For example, 4 lots of 7, 4 multiplied by 7, 28 plus 5 gives us 33 sevenths as a top heavy. Now going the other way, from an improper fraction to a mixed number, again we can introduce it with uh, a visual representation, in this case 8 thirds, if we were to draw out our pizza slices again and count them all up, with 1, 2, 3 thirds to create the first whole number, another 3 thirds creates another whole number and we would have two extras in this case. So as a mixed number, visually, the pupil should be able to see the eight thirds can be written as two and two thirds. But again, we wouldn't expect them to do drawings for all their working, so we should be able to do it without. Now we'll reinforce and reiterate that over is a divide. We're going the other way, so eight over three technically means eight divided by three, which the pupils can carry out. Eight divided by three gives us two remainder two, now the first two, this two here, represents the two whole numbers or the two whole pizzas that we saw earlier. That's our three thirds and another three thirds, the three dividing into the eight. The remainder two is the two spare slices on the side. So eight thirds, eight divided by three, being two remainder two as a division, we can write as two and two thirds. And further examples again, to have a look at this. 13 fifths, treat it as a division, 13 fifths means 13 divided by 5, which the pupils can carry out as normal, giving us 2 remainder 3, 2 remainder 3, whole number part of 2, and the remainder 3 would represent 3 with a denominator of 5, 2 and 3 fifths as a mixed number, and the final one, again, getting to the stage where they're doing it mentally, 53 sixths, 53 over 6 means 53 divided by 6, which is 8 remainder 5, written as 8 and 5 sixths as a mixed number.